Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at the Real Steel Metamorph. This is a pretty interesting entry-ish level front flipper from Real Steel out of China. Um, very, very compelling knife. A lot that I like about it, but we'll go ahead and go over all of that. Um, do some size comparisons, everything, and I'll give you a conclusion of what my overall thoughts are on this knife. First up, size comparison. So... We'll go ahead and bring out the ZT0450. This is probably one of the closer knives I have to it. I'm fairly narrow. Um, this knife is not very wide. It's actually a little bit more narrow than the ZT. It is a little bit longer though, obviously. And thickness wise, it's gonna be just a touch thicker than the ZT, but not very much at all. The ZT is not quite as long in the blade length department either. Um, ZT is 3.25 inch. This is about a three and a half inch blade. So a little bit longer in the blade department. Go ahead and bring out a couple more comparisons just to give you a, a sense of reference. Here is the Benchmade proper, which again, shorter than this knife. Um, a decent bit thinner as well, but the proper is a, a very thin knife. This knife isn't thick overall. It's just not as thin as some of these other ones. And last, we'll bring out the uh, Spyderco Dragonfly here. That way you kind of get three different size ranges worth of knife to kind of compare to this one. Um, the only one I have that's almost as long as this is the Spyderco Cento Fonte 3. Um, the handle on this knife is very long, but the blade isn't quite as long. So the Metamorph is still just a touch longer than, than that knife. Overall, though, you get a very, very thin and very slim profile with this knife. And it's very, very easy to carry because of that. On to what I like about it. Very first thing, and the first thing I noticed, really, if you watch my unboxing video, is the action on this. Um, front flippers are a little strange. So with a normal um, flipper knife, you know, you have a flipper tab, and you press it down, and the blade fires. Pretty simple. With the front flipper, they move that flipper tab from being back here to up here on the top of the blade spine. Um, a lot of people would probably be, probably be confused by this if you didn't know what to look for. But what you can do is you can open it with your thumb, which is how most people do it, and you kind of do it in an overarching pattern. So you want to follow all the way back. Something like that. So you can do it that way. You can do it a little slower. Or you can do a very slow, deliberate kind of opening as well. Um, one thing I found for me when fiddling, um, if I open it, I'm closing it with my pointer finger. I can just bring my pointer finger right back around kind of like this, flip it open, and just do that continuously. So once you, of course I slipped there when I'm about to say this, once you get used to it, it's it's very simple to open and very fun to play with in my opinion. Um, this has become a, a favorite fidget knife of mine just because of the action, the smoothness, and the reliability and the deployment. And it does drop shut with a little bit of encouragement. The blade's extremely light, so it's, you know, but it's actually rolling on um, bearings, but instead of being round, they're kind of barrel shaped. Again, I, in the unboxing, I have a disassembly. You can take a look at it if you're curious about that stuff. But very, very good action on this. The fit and finish are really nice. Um, there's no real machining issues or anything. You can see a few lines in the aluminum, maybe if you look really, really hard, you can kind of see them there. But I, I honestly like that. Very, very interesting design overall. The design is probably one of my favorite things about this. Um, the color is nice. This is the gray. They have it also in a blue and a rose gold, which is more like a pinky color. Um, but it's just, it's interesting. There's a lot of uh, angles and things like that on this. And the backspacer is ever so slightly rounded, if you can see that. But it's very nice. It makes for very, um, it's long, but it's kind of a gentlemanly, almost classy carry with a, just a touch of flair to it. I like it quite a bit. The clip is very, very nice. It's it's very narrow, very slim in your pocket and leaves, you know, enough of the knife for you to grab it and pull it out. So if you're not into deep carry pocket clips, this will work really well. Um, it has the Real Steel Knives logo on it, but it's pretty minimal. Very little, uh, branding on the blade as well. You have the Real Steel logo there, and then on the back you have uh, G5 Metamorph and Ostep Hell Design and 14C28M, which is the steel. So the size and weight of this are very nice. This is made out of aluminum. 
so it's pretty light. You can check Blade HQ for the exact specs and things like that. But very, very light knife overall. There are steel liners under the aluminum to give it a little bit of durability. But it's, it's very, very nice in the pocket. It's very slim, compact, barely notice it's there. What it reminds me of, honestly, in the pocket is the Boker Quaken, but with a better clip, in my opinion. So if you have one of those, you can kind of get a, a good sense of how it's going to fit in your pocket. Blade shape on this is fantastic. I love sheep's foot blades, and this is kind of like that. There's not really any flat. It's kind of all belly, so if you need a flat blade, this might not be great for you, but I, I really, really enjoy this blade shape. Um, it does have a decent little bit to poke with, although it's not super, super pokey. Um, very, very nice blade finish. It's just kind of a satin, but it, it looks nice with a knife. It matches the rest of the hardware on there, the clip and everything like that. So it comes across as very nice. I really like the blade shape on this, and the grind is very good. Um, blade stock's not too thick. It's fairly thin, and because of how it's ground, it, it slices extremely, extremely well, especially up here towards the tip. Great blade shape, great blade grind. The backspacer is really, really nice. As I mentioned, it's grounded. I like it a lot. I like the design. I like how far up it goes as well. But a really nice little touch is the lanyard hole here. It's completely unobtrusive. They get the blade down about as far as they possibly can, and the backspacer actually comes up over that tip so you don't cut yourself, which is nice. And there's no way to cut yourself on the back here. It's recessed far enough. But they use that little bit of backspacer, just made a, a, a tad bit of a cutout which is probably they would have had to put handle there anyway just to make it symmetrical and things like that and they just added a little pin for you to put your lanyard on it's really really nice it's a great little touch and it really brings this knife together as something that can be you know quiet and classy or you can have fun with it you can put a bead on here a lanyard or whatever you want to do so it gives you some options on to the neutral First thing is the steel. Um, it's 14C28N, which isn't a bad steel. At this price, you're usually going to get VG10, but you know it's it's not bad. Speaking of price, these run between $55, $60, somewhere right around there. Um, and that's to me, honestly, for the action and everything, the build quality, it's a pretty good price. There's there's really no build quality issues or anything like that. The action's fantastic. It's just it's it's really really good um, so the price is not great because of this the steel and things like that and the warranty but you know overall I think price is pretty fair the ergonomics aren't great um, I have uh, I don't know largish hands so I but I this gives me enough handle to actually grip which is strange because a lot of the knives I carry generally are a little bit smaller just because in the pocket I prefer smaller knives but in the hand, this one's okay. There's some jimping here, and there's some jimping on the um, liner lock. But other than that, there's not a whole lot to grip onto, so it's a little slippery. I can definitely pull this out of my hand if I try. But then again, this isn't really a hard-use knife in the first place. So if you're looking for something that's going to be really, really ergonomic and really nice and sit and sit and stay in your hand, you might want to avoid this one. Because of the blocky shape and things like that, there's not really a lot of contouring, so the ergonomics aren't great. But when I use this knife, I generally don't hold it like that. I generally go like this anyway. So it works for me. But if you really bear down and you use all of your knives very, very roughly, this probably isn't going to be the one for you just because of the ergonomics. They're just not great. The clip design. I mentioned the clip. I like it. But it's kind of bland. I almost wish they had done something a bit unique with it on this knife. Um, this knife design overall is really, really nice, I think. And I think they could have done something very interesting with the clip, but it's just kind of plain. It's, I don't know, it just looks like a normal clip that you'd see on any knife. Even if it bumped up the price $10 or something like that, I think an interesting clip design would really, really bring this together. I think that would look fantastic on a knife like this. That's about it for the neutral. It's there's some things. The biggest ones to me are really the ergonomics. They're just kind of eh, and the clip design just kind of leaves me cold. On to the dislike. Um, this may sound like a bit of a nitpick, but I think one of the things this knife relies on a lot is its design. Is the you know everything looks very very clean. But tell me what you like more. Do you like this more, or do you like it when I take away that screw? that's slightly more consistent because because I prefer that and they could have taken away the screw and it really bothers me that they didn't because on this other side 
there's no screw. So on the show side of the knife, they put a screw. That's that's really annoying. It just it's extremely frustrating. Um, I could understand it if the clip could be flipped, but it can't. It's you know right hand tip down or tip up only carry. So put the clip on this or the screw on this side. I don't need to see an unnecessary screw there. If you want to hold it in the back spacer, that's fine. But flip it. At least give me some a consistent, nice look to this kind of a gentlemanly knife. It's a little long, but you know that that just kind of bugs me. And I feel like they were I don't know if they were lazy or if they just didn't think about it or what. But it's it's a pretty sizable demerit for me, honestly, when it comes to appearance. All right, on to the conclusion. So overall, I really, really like this knife. There are a few things I'm not a huge fan of, but it's fun to play with, it's reliable, and it functions extremely well. For most tasks that I do, this is perfect. I really don't need this much blade length, to be honest. I kind of wish they offered it in a slightly smaller package, but it's not bad. I, I like it quite a bit. Um, if they could knock off maybe half an inch on the, the handle and the blade, or maybe quarter of an inch, I think I would like it a lot more. But overall, this is a pretty nice knife, and I find myself carrying this quite a bit, to be honest. So if you're interested in front flippers, this is the only one that I've handled, but there aren't many in this price range. So this might be a really good chance for you to play with one. I've found that I like them quite a bit, and I'll definitely be picking up more front flippers in the future. So if it's something you want to try, this is not a bad place to start, especially if you like more compact, kind of slim, and interesting knives. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to check out my other stuff. If you like knives, uh, knife videos, I will have a bunch coming up because I have a decent backlog that I have to go through. And if you have any questions about this or if there's any recommendations for anything you want me to pick up, leave it down in the description. I'll check it out. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.